Okay, Lee's Kano once again going with Ripjack. This worked before. This worked before. Remember, these guys fought earlier on in bracket, and what happened was Lee's Kano went Ripjack game one, won, played Paco, lost, went back to Ripjack, and took the set. Oh, that was unfortunate. So here's my thought. Is Lee's, is Lee's Kano just going to stick with Ripjack the entire time? I don't know. I didn't actually look at the replay. All right, Emil takes some damage over time there. One stock down already. All right. Small little punish on that teleport on stage. That is such a squishy sound when you get hit by that poison. All right. He's Kano making it back, not even using meter. There we go, there's the meter. All right. Emil forced to use burst. Lee's Kano at 160, still alive, not getting hit by that up air. That back air is going to do it, though. Emil on the board, but immediately back aired. Still one stock down. sent low there. Oh, at least Kano with just this incredibly aggressive play. The moment that Emil gets back on stage, at least Kano's already got two separate hitboxes out. No breathing room. All right, Lee's Kano on their final stock, but Emil sitting at 135 goes down immediately. Game one going to Lee's Kano. All right, let's see what we get for game number two. Alright, looks like we're going to go straight back to Jungle Treetop. No delay whatsoever. Get the run back. And yeah, it looks like Lee's Kano is going to stick with Ripjack for now. All right, Emil actually starting off pretty good right here. Hasn't taken any damage yet and is stepping back. Lee's Kano's been pretty aggressive, but Lee's Kano typically always starts out like their approach with uh, one of their projectiles. And Emil's just like, I'm going to stay out of range of this. I'm going to stay on the other side of the stage. It's working out so far. Big percentage lead for Emil. Can't get me if I force you to approach. Oh, well, looks like Emil's trying to change up the game plan as I say that. Much more aggressive, starting to chase Lee's Kano. When you're in a position where you're chasing a Volt, that's typically not where you want to be. Big DBZ there. Both players making it back to center stage. Roughly the same time. That's going to be it for Lee's Kano. Too deep to come back. All right, Emil, with that, one stock up, sitting at 127, has to use burst in order to survive after taking that back air. Oh, the bad trade for Emil! 
taking a lot of damage. Big reversal of fortune throughout this match. Lee's Kano, after starting off with that big deficit, is very quickly bringing it back. Manages to get a trade with that jab combo special. Committing to it. Like, that's a really slow one. <laughs> And yeah, Emil is forced to give chase at this point. I hate that Poison Cloud so much. That is such a nasty move. Players that touch that Poison Cloud get sent into free fall if they're airborne. That's the first time we've seen it so far today. Okay, at least Kano. 133 with meter for burst. One stock up, looking very strong. The moment Emil started giving chase, this match was decided, it feels like. Emil had the winning strategy and then got impatient. There it is. Elise Kano taking game number two. All right, heading into game three. Let's see what we got. Are we going to see a character change or a strategy change? No, it looks like we're going to Blazing Jungle. Same characters. Here we go. All right, nice job by Emil forcing Lee's Kano to burst in order to come back. Emil's winning more of these exchanges now. Emil's going very aggressive, but it seems to be working a little better this time than last time. Not by much, though. Emil's taking a lot of damage from that damage over time, pushing in. Oh, that was such an unfortunate teleport. What happened? Maybe Emil thought that they could make that distance. Okay, at least Kano sending in 141, takes a big trade, somehow still alive. 149. Yep, Emil jumped into the puddle. Both players lose a stock! <laughs> the biggest DBZ! Okay. Once again, though, Emil is a stock down and is really forced to give chase. As we've seen these last few sets, when Emil has to give chase, Emil doesn't do so good. Stole the iframes. No capitalization on that, though. And that back air is going to take it. At least Kano is going to move on to Grand Finals.